Good morning to all traders and welcome to our daily market insights video provided to you by Orbex Names Stavros Tusios. And today is that day of the week again where we are looking both gold and oil commodities. Gold retraced it had yesterday following a very good upside break above 1280 on Monday, and oil, regardless of trade war threats and drone attacks early on Monday fell lower on stocks build. But note, we do expect the EIA stocks report to shed more light later on the day. Volatility is expected to be high once again, despite macro and political events, as the economic calendar features a number of major events. For the day, we have European employment data and GDP data, okay, Eurowide, we have the Canadian CPI, uh, the retail sales in the U.S., the uh, uh, Empire State Manufacturing Index in the U.S., and then, of course, we have the uh, crude oil stocks. Um, at the same time, later, uh, we have also Fed Governor Kuo's speech, and um, later at night, we have uh, FOMC member barking speech. So it is going to be rather... A volatile day today, a lot of major events, and I will pay attention uh, not only on oil and gold, but also, of course, on euro dollar. Uh, what's happening with the U.S. in the uh, New York uh, Open, and also the Canadian dollar. So USD card is also an option for the day. Now, when I go quickly on, I want to start with gold. Okay, so on gold, we've been waiting this break, uh, okay, for a while. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we've been looking for prices to go below 1280. That has happened, and this could be the correction that we've been waiting. Now, my view changes a little bit because we've had this break outside um, this um, corrective pattern, which is uh, an ending triangle. Now. Um, this being said, uh, we're also sitting very close at this. Uh, we actually retraced, prices retraced back at this uh, long-term trend line. So um, although we do get some bullish signals also on the MACD on the four-hour, right, and this is a break uh, outside the uh, triangle, it could just turn out to be a false break. And why do I say this? I say this because if we follow the larger term, a larger trends, and we remember that we finished five wave here, right? Um, that could be an ABC indeed, and it could have finished here. Or um, if we look at it as an impulse to the downside, so five waves to an upside, that could simply be an ABC correction. And from here is where we're looking for further um, downside moves. Now, if that happened, we will be looking at the duplication of this wave. Okay, so prices could go closer to like the 1200s. Um, there is not much signs apart. The, I do recall that there is the uh, daily uh, divergence uh, over here, uh, very bearish signal, but that looks like it's exhausted um, or nearly exhausted. From here, then. I am really, really uh, expecting to see what's going to happen in the short term now. And that means what? First of all, we'll be looking at prices to correct uh, near to the 50 Fibonacci retracement, around 1290, and then start going higher. If this level holds, then we're more bullish. If this level doesn't, and we'll get back here, and then this breaks as well, we'll then we're most likely looking at prices at moving um, way lower, okay? Now, way lower, I will go back to the four hour in a minute. So, first invalidation, 1290, second invalidation, 1280, okay? That would be neutrality, neutrality, anything below here, bull, uh, bearish, anything above here, bullish, not as much, everything above 13, we're looking at 1310. Now, in terms of the bearish move, uh, as you see, I have identified us as an A, B, C, D, E, right, which finished here. This is um, a potential development, right? Now, if we move down, then this is going to be labeled as A, B, C, D, E, and we're probably looking to extend down to that level, okay? 
considering that would be a false break. Now, in case of a break below that level, 1280, we're probably looking at 1250, 1255 again, and potentially also duplication of this first signal. Okay, so um, we have bullish signs for the moment, short term, but it's really critical that we get more in order to uh, finally uh, start stepping in with this bullish um, with these bullish bets we've been waiting for a while now, okay? This correction has been, uh, has been long uh, watched. Now, on the oil, 240. Uh, we had the first impulse, second impulse, and now we are looking. There's also two scenarios here. Um, we have either completed uh, the first impulse to the downside here, right? And then we will be looking for duplication, which means... Uh, prices from there can move down to around 53.50. Okay, second scenario. This is our impulse, and we're looking at the duplication of this uh, signal. That will take us exactly at 58, which is also previous uh, support, previous, previous resistance, previous support level, and also the end of wave four, which normally we expect prices to correct. And from here, we can start looking for buys. Now, um, we don't receive much on the, on the indicators. Uh, they actually get tighter and tighter, which means that uh, we could be seeing a break uh, very soon. Now, I was speaking about this pattern, okay? Um, we have a one, two, three, four, five impulse to the downside, and the ABC correction here, um, it turned out to be some sort of uh, triangle, okay, which is expected when we are on a zigzag, and this is obviously a zigzag pattern. So if that's the case, then that would be the first wave, and then we'll look in three and four and five, a duplication of this. Um, if not, and let me just go lower for this. Okay, see, this is exactly what I just explained. Okay, so we'll go one, two, three, four, five, and then price is breaking lower, um, and also, we are going below that uh, trend line, outside this trend line, finally. Uh, now, the first scenario I was talking about would be this, okay? One, so we get a duplication, and prices go near 53. Second scenario, we're looking at this being the first impulse wave, okay? This will be the correction, and this will be the A, B, C zigzag, okay? Obviously, even that would be a scenario from here, this structure suggests that prices are most likely going to move down. That way, we will get at least a duplication of this first impulse from 66, 63 to 62 or so. Okay? Um, so signals here as well are a little bit mixed. Okay? Um, but for the time being, gold is uh, closer to giving us more signs rather than the oil. Obviously on the oil, we expect the EIA, as I said before, um, and that would, at least for the day, uh, might be able to give us some uh, signals. Now, on this, uh, on this scenario, we'll be looking for this as a first break, okay? So in case that we get a bad uh, EIA build, we're looking at prices uh, going closer to the 60 psychological level. In case it's good, we are um, really curious to see whether this break, this level, is uh, acting as a rejection. And if that doesn't, then is the 63 going to act as a rejection? So invalidation point to the upside is the 63, okay? And maybe it could be also a little bit higher, 63.50, because it's a high activity level. Uh, and um, downside, we'll be looking at prices to break 60, so that we can assume that the 59, uh, 58 is going to be uh, reached. Of course, we would expect both RSI and MACD to give us more signs. So today's analysis <laughs> uh, is a little bit more uh, mixed because the signals from the market are a bit more mixed on the technical perspective at least. So pay attention to what happens on the short term because what happens on the short term is indeed a part of what will happen in the medium term and then in the longer term. So thank you for being with us for another day. If you like our video, hit the like button. I would recommend as always to keep an eye on our blog. This is where we'll cover the latest news. We'll provide trading ideas and all the tools a trader needs.